Morning everybody, we had a little bit of a sleep in this morning so we missed the first shuttle um, but now we're finally at Epcot um, took a while to get in because I've got extra security a day um, didn't get a proper reason why but I'm assuming it's for food and wine festival but who knows but anyway we're here, Becca's finally got her Epcot ears on so yay um, we've missed our first fast pass which was Spaceship Earth so we're now heading to our second fast pass which is Test Track so we're just quickly heading up to the side of the park where our test track is and we'll try and ride that straight away and see how long the fast pass queue is track um, we only rode this for the first time ever last year and we both loved it um, it's a 50 minute standby wait so I'm gonna swap to the GoPro now because um, I don't want to accidentally leave go the cannon whilst I'm on the ride but the GoPro is not very good in the dark and this is a dark ride to start with so I don't know how much it'll pick up to start off but once we get outside actually on the test track um, we should be able to get some pretty cool shots so let's do it We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road surface. <laughs> capability test results displayed and verified. Scanning safe car for optimal control efficiency. Responsiveness test. Okay, the responsiveness data is now being synchronized. He has all the cars that you can have a look at and sit in when you come out of test track all of Chevrolet's new models. And there's one over here where you can scan your magic band and get your photo taken. As you can see then people are doing it right there. And then of course with every ride it takes you out of the gift shop. Loads of test track merchandise, Chevrolet merchandise. Tron merchandise. Test track was amazing, it was the first time I got to sit in the front row. Um, so I haven't got a chance to look at the right footage yet of the GoPro, but I'm hoping it turns out good. If it's good enough, it'll obviously be in the previous clip there. Um, so a little tip, if you can sit in the front row, sit in the front row, because it's much better. Um, so now we're gonna go down to Mission Space. We don't have a fast pass for that, do we? We do. Oh. But we'll have a fast pass for Mission Space, but we're going to go down and see what the standby queue is like. Um, and then we'll eventually head up into the World Showcase and start eating all the food and wine. So he has Mission Space, and this has to be one of the most impressive uh, building facades out of all the parks. This looks simply amazing. Uh, and it's a 15 minute standby wait, so we're going to jump on there and come back later on once we've got our fast pass for it. And this is inside the ride queue. Now that used to spin, but for some reason now it doesn't. Here today to train for the great 
greatest adventure in the history of mankind is the exploration of deep space. I know you're probably feeling a little bit nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Rows eight and three. Surgeon, how are we doing? Commander's pulse rate is a little high. Commander, everything's A-OK. -okay. Just concentrate on your assignment. First aid step so you have and manual off. control. Engineer, just a reminder, you'll activate hypersleep and extend the wing. The large team is ready to proceed at this time. Uh, ready to for a All of us here at Mission Control are proud to be a part of this historic liftoff of the first mission to Mars. Mission Control, this is the firing line. Give us the go, no, go for launch. And another gift shop. <laughs> Don't mind this one because it's actually pretty cool with all the space stuff. And there's one thing I do love over here and it is astronaut ice cream. <clears throat> astronaut strawberries, astronaut sandwich, priced at $5.95, not too bad. Now I'm tempted to buy a pair, these, these are pretty cool. So a little tip if you don't like enclosed spaces or like simulators go on the green side of mission space because it doesn't spin and um, it just does the up and down and side by side movement whereas the orange one um, is a centrifuge so I think you feel a few G's of force on you like that uh, on there um, and it can make people feel quite sick and um, so I've just bought some astronaut ice cream which we're going to try in a little bit Becca wants to what ride did you see you wanted to go on? Oh, Soren, so we're going to try and head over to Soren, um, and then we're going to head up to the World Showcase and start the Food and Wine Festival. So back I want a quick pit stop at Mouse Gear. This is our favourite shop. And she's just been paid, so we'll probably be spending a fortune. That's how big the shop is, all the different sections. And at the front, we've got loads of Nemo. Clothes. I must admit this is one of my favourite shops as well. Buzz Light Arms! And socks with Andy written on. We've got all the home stuff which Becca wishes we could bring back for our new house. But it's just so heavy and we don't have a great deal of luggage allowance. This is the shirt I wanted last year. Then I didn't have it in my size. And they still don't. Now this is another cool t-shirt. It's the man himself. It's Figment. I did actually want a Mickey's Not So Scary t-shirt to wear for tomorrow night. So we'll have a quick look. Quite like that one. Let's have a look at the price. It is $24. Not bad. 